Hi everyone and welcome back to today's practice in honor of the ninth International Yoga Day. The theme of this International Yoga Day in 2023 is Vasudaiva Kudumbukan, which means one world and one family. So we are practicing today to raise awareness that yoga is a holistic approach and practice for mental and physical well-being. Please go ahead and make yourself comfortable in a seat of your choice. And then when you're ready, please close your eyes. Take a couple of rounds of breath here, noticing if you're leaning a little bit too far forward or a little bit too far back, trying to find your center And then gifting yourself this moment to arrive and to settle in. Scan through any areas in your body that are tight or tense. And send some loving kindness and calmness into those areas. Maybe you can soften just a little bit more into your face, your fingers, your shoulders, and letting go any tension you're holding on around your navel. And then go ahead and place your right hand onto your navel, your left hand towards your heart, observing the gentle rise and fall of those body parts with each and every inhalation and exhalation. Letting go of anything that has happened already letting go of any plans you have in the future. Simply being here, breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful, let's take one more round of breath here. And then go ahead and place your left hand down to the ground. Drop your right ear towards the right shoulder. You could stay here, maybe release your right hand onto your knee. Or you could slide that right hand around towards the tip of your ear on the left side. Just simply placing the weight of your hand on the side of your head, noticing how that increases the intention of this stretch. Your chin is just straight forward, your shoulders are relaxed, and maybe you're pushing just a little bit more into the left fingertips so that you can intensify this stretch. On one more inhale, and one more exhale. Awesome. Plant your left fingertips down to the floor. Now release your right arm and reach it all the way up and over to the left side, coming straight into a side body stretch for the right. Careful here, you're not tilting too much forward. See if you can open your right side of the chest a little bit higher up. If it feels great, you wanna make some movements into that right hand, go ahead and do so. And let's take one more inhale in here, one more exhale out, awesome. And then place your right hand on top of your left knee, push yourself up back to straight. Lift your left arm up for some length through the spinal column and then twist with your left fingertips dropping around behind your left side. Inhale, find some length pushing the crown of the head up and exhale, notice if you can return a little bit more into that twist, keeping the left hip pushing forward. 
trying to isolate the twist in the top third part of your spine, that thoracic area. Take one more inhale for length here, one more exhale, and then return your gaze forward and release both hands back onto their knees. Let's go for a few rounds of Sufi circles here, just circling clockwise. You can lean from your knees as you lean back, coming forward, making big or small circles, just as you think is right for you. Let's go two more rounds here. That's it. Last time, you've got this coming all the way back up into an upright position. And just for the fun of it, let's change the cross of your legs. And then place your right fingertips down to the ground. Drop your left ear over to the left shoulder now. And then slide your left hand around to the tip of your right ear. Just literally placing the weight of your hand on the side of your head without pulling. Just noticing that extra weight and how you feel the stretch intensify. Maybe a gentle pressure down through the right fingertips helps. Taking a big inhale here, your eyes could be closed so that you can completely focus on the sensations that you have internally. Last inhale, last exhale. And then plant your right hand down, release your left arm and come into that beautiful side body stretch with the left arm reaching up and overhead. Same as on the other side, spin your left shoulder a little bit more up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're practicing outside like me. Find some movement into that left wrist. Taking one more inhale in here. One more exhale out. And then go ahead and drop that left hand onto your right knee. Push yourself into straight. Right arm reaches for some extra length through the spine. And then twist open to your right side. Right fingertips drop around and behind you. Big inhale in here. Big exhale out. Same as on the other side. Little push of the right hip forward. Isolating that twist more towards the upper third of your spine. Inhale for length, exhale to twist. Nice, inhale, bring your head back to center, release both hands onto the knees, and this time begin to circle anti-clockwise. So finding a beautiful circulating rotation around the base of your spine, breathing in and breathing out. Let's do two more rounds. Good. Last time. Come back into an upright position. And if you're facing like me towards the long side of the mat, go ahead and turn yourself so that you can face the top of your mat. Hold on to the backs of your knees, lean back, lift your chest and sternum up, and then tilt back so far that the legs automatically lift up into your boat pose. You wanna engage through the ball of your feet to make your legs a little bit lighter. Maybe you stay here, holding on to the backs of the knees. If you want to go a little bit further, extend your arms at the height of your shoulders, palms facing your shins, and then see if you can lift the gaze a little bit higher, make a long, Spine, breathe here. We're not here for too long, just another five, four, three, two, and one. And then go ahead and cross your ankles, shift forward into a tabletop position. Stacking hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We go straight into cat and cow. Inhale, drop the belly, extend the front side of the body. Exhale, round and arch through the upper back. Inhale again, dropping the belly, creating space in the front side of the body. Exhale, doming between the shoulder blades, hands, knees and feet press down into the floor. Let's do one more round. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. Exhale, rounding into the upper back body. 
come back into a neutral tabletop pose take your hands just a little bit forward tuck your toes under lift your hips push back into your downward facing dog in your downward facing dog feel free to pedal the heels down do whatever feels best here for you make sure your hands are pressing equally into the ground the gaze is back towards the feet shoulders are turning outwards and you want to make sure that your spine is pushing back the belly towards the thighs so that you can elongate the line between the crown of the head and the tailbone opening up through that posterior chain of muscles in the backs of your legs as you pedal or maybe you're in stillness you choose let's take one more breath in here warming up through the shoulders as well exhale and then looking forward you're going to walk your feet all the way up to the top of the mat and then go ahead and walk your feet to the edges of your mat framing your hands toes spill off the mat and then your heels can stay on we're going to come down into a yogi squat malasana lifting the heels swaying side to side just coming into this swaying malasana here gently working into the hips finding that grounding sensation couple more of those it's a little bit windy here in Japan today so I'll just push my mat back let's take one last breath in here drop the hips heavy lift the head up and then keep your feet wide take your hands towards your heart on an inhale lift up inhale reach your arms all the way up overhead come to standing exhale squat back down into malasana four more of those inhale lengthen and lift push yourself to standing exhale to squat back down three to go inhale lift and stand exhale squat back down inhale lift and stand exhale squat back down last time inhale to lift and stand now from here extend your legs heel toe your feet all the way together so that your big toes connect heels stay apart and then squat down into your chair pose big inhale in here core is engaged lower back is nice and long now turn your palms to face forward and begin to open and close your fingers that's it bringing some circulation into those hands and wrists arms and shoulders keep pulsing see if you can speed it up for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 awesome inhale chair pose exhale uttanasana forward fold top of the mat flat back lengthen your spine maybe bend your knees so that you can gain a little bit more extension plant your hands down and step your left leg long back drop the left knee down inhale come all the way up into a low lunge and an asana big breath in here big breath out place your right elbow onto your right knee and then begin to circle your left hand back and down maybe scraping the bottom of your mat inhale and exhale one more time inhale to lift exhale this time place your left hand behind your left ear see if you can lean back a little bit open through the left shoulder and exhale circle the hand back and down bring both hands down to the ground tuck your back toes under lift your left leg back and up walk your hands a little bit forward and come up into a warrior three preparation stand left hip is at the same height as your right hip head is relaxed fingers on the ground or if you have blocks to lift the earth up feel free by any means to lift up the earth to you and take your left knee into a bend and begin to circle the left knee forward big rotations here 
That's it. One more to go. Nice. And then circle back three rounds. One. Two. And three. Nice. Place your left foot next to the right. Halfway lift flat back. Hands to the ground and step your right leg long back into your low lunge. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, big breath in. And exhale, left elbow to the left knee. And then go ahead and circle your right arm long and back. Inhale for length forward. Exhale, circle it back. One more time, inhale and reach. Place your right hand behind your right ear. See if you can open up through the front of that right shoulder. One more inhale here. And then extend the right arm back and down. Drop it to frame your left foot. And then tuck your back toes under. Shift yourself back up into that warrior three standing preparation pose. Make sure your right hip is leveled parallel to the floor. And then bend into that right knee and begin circling the right knee in big circles around to the front, trying to increase that range of motion in your right, yeah, right hip joint. And then circle back three times. One, two, and three. Nice. Replace the right foot by the left. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into your chair pose again. Oops, dropped my mic. Let's put it back. Here we go. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale to chair pose. Sit nice and low into your Utkatasana chair pose. And then go ahead, interlace your hands behind the lower back. Push the knuckles away, roll the shoulder blades back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Maybe stay here or lift your heels so that you can balance on your toes. Breathe, maybe lift the heels up a little bit higher or stay with the whole of the sole connected to the ground. Three, two, one, if your heels are lifted, slowly place them down. Release the interlace of the hands, reach the arms forward. And then balance on your right leg, lift your left leg up. Step it all the way back, inhale into your high lunge crescent pose, big breath in. Bend your right elbow, hold your left hand around that right elbow, hold opposite elbows. And keep pushing your hips straight forward and see if you can push your head against your forearms lifting the chest, lifting the gaze, finding some openness through the heart, the chest, your sternum. Take another inhale in here. And then inhale, release, arms up to the head, hands together at the heart. Spin your left heel down and then extend into the right knee as you come into Skandasana, facing the left side of your mat back side of your mat. You can stay here. You can drop your fingertips to the ground. You could even lift your heel to come a little bit deeper into that stretching sensation for the inner right thigh. Maybe you want to place your left hand down and open your right arm up for another big stretch in the front of that right shoulder. Big inhale here. Big exhale out. Both hands come down to the ground. We're going to lift up into a wide legged forward fold, pushing both legs to straight. All 10 toes facing the front of your mat and then allowing for your head to come forward and down. Little turning in of the feet, heels wider than the toes. You might want to grab your opposite elbows and sway a little bit side to side like a super wide ragdoll forward fold. Or maybe you want to hold your toes or your ankles and come a little bit deeper into this forward fold, standing, breathing in and out of the nose. One more breath in, one more breath out. 
placing both hands underneath your shoulders, lift yourself up halfway, and then place your right hands right underneath your face. Inhale, lift your left arm up for a nice gentle twist here. You could leave the arm straight up above, or you could place it for a little bit of a deeper rotation with the left hand onto the lower back. Take another inhale wherever you've chosen to be. And if your hand is on the lower back, release it, bring it down, switching sides. Inhale, right arm reaches up and overhead. Maybe keep it here, place the right hand onto the lower back as an alternative. Big inhale here. Good. Another inhale, release the right arm up. Hands down towards the ground. Find a flat back here. Now careful, spin your left toes towards the back of the mat, kick your right heel out a little bit, bend into your left knee and lift up into a nice strong and grounding warrior two. Gaze is towards the left fingertips. Another inhale in here, shoulders relaxed, base foundation through the legs is nice and strong, pushing into the outer blade of that right foot. Inhale, reverse your warrior, take a big stretch through that left side body. And then exhale, come back into your warrior two. Come back into your crescent pose, facing the back of your mat. And then go ahead and bend your left elbow, your right elbow. And we're going to do that same sequence again on the other side. So pushing your head against your forearms if possible. Push your elbows into your hands, engaging some shoulder mobility here. Take another inhale in. Another exhale out. Strong lift of that right heel, stacking over the right toes. Release both arms up towards the sky. Hands to the heart. Preparing for Skandasana to the right, pivot the right heel down, extend into the left leg, lift the left toes and come into your side lunge here. Maybe you choose to stay here or drop your hands, maybe the right heel lifts. You could also opt to lift that left arm all the way up and overhead, wherever you are. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, takes your left hand down to the ground. Come back into your wide-legged forward fold. This time, kick the heels in and the toes out. Bend your knees so they stack over your heels and place your hands onto the tops of your knees. We're gonna go into a beautiful twist from here. So keep the knees bent, extend into your right arm and push the right shoulder with the straight arm over towards the left inner knee. Inhale back to center. Pushing left shoulder over towards the right. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, push over to the left. Inhale through center. And exhale, pushing left shoulder to the right knee. Nice. Inhale back to the center. Drop both fingertips to the ground. Keep your footing so to prepare for warrior two right toes facing forward left heel pushing back push into your feet inhale lift up into your warrior two adjust your feet if needed and then gaze out through the right fingertips shoulders and hands at the same height flip your right palm inhale reverse your warrior and exhale back to warrior two Spin back onto your left toes, lift the heel, come back into your high lunge crescent pose. And then we exhale both hands down to the ground. We step the right leg back into a plank pose. And then from here, we just hold plank pose for a few moments. You can always drop the knees as a modification if possible. See if you can align shoulders over the wrists keeping the entire front side of the body warm, engaged, and strong. And then with an the exhale, we're going to lower all the way down to the belly. That's it. Place your elbows underneath your shoulders. Come into a Sphinx pose here. And then imagine you could pull your elbows back and out, pushing your heart and your chest forward. 
Lower back is relaxed. Gaze is diagonally forward and down. Try not to overextend the neck. Taking another inhale here. And another exhale out. Releasing your hands one on top of the other. Foreheads to the hands. Bend into the knees. Little sway side to side. That's it. And then from here, we're going to flip ourselves over onto our backs. Setting up for a bridge pose. Soles of the feet flat, feet are parallel. Heels walking in towards your glutes. On an inhale, press into your heels, lift your hips all the way up. Your, your hands could stay where they are. If possible, you want to go ahead and interlace them underneath your lower back and then squeeze and walk the shoulder blades in a little bit more so that you can really open up through the front side of the body. You can totally keep a block underneath your hips as a version of a restorative bridge pose if you have a block. Or you can be here with me for another five, four. Keep pressing into your heels. Keep elongating the lower back. Three. Press your arms down into the mat. Two. One. And slowly release the interlace of the hands. And then lower down one vertebra after the other. Walk your feet out as wide as the mat, cactus your arms, and then drop your knees over to the right side. Take three breaths here. Draw your breath all the way down into your abdomen. One more breath in. One more breath out. Bring your knees through center and then drop them all the way over to the left side. Maybe the head turns slightly to the right. Three big belly breaths here. Last breath in. Last breath out. Bring the head and the knees back to the center. Keep the feet as wide as the mat and knock the knees together at the center so they connect. You can keep your hands cactus shaped or you could place your hands back onto your belly and onto your heart. Allowing for a few moments here to find ease in the lower back, to reconnect to our breath. Simply observing how each inhale rises your ribs, your chest, your belly. And how with each exhalation, everything falls back into its neutral position. On your next inhale, draw the knees in towards the chest. Hold your tops of the knees. Give it a little sway side to side. And then slide your hands behind your knees and rock all the way up into a comfortable seated position. Draw your hands together at the center of your heart as a gesture of gratitude bowing your head towards your hands, bringing together your mind and your heart a little bit closer. And then repeat after me, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings in this universe be happy and at peace. And may I contribute to that freedom that happiness and that peace of all beings.
through all that I say, I think, and I do. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.